Okay, I'm really quick going to show you how to use Kami to grade PDFs or other things. So first you need to get the Kami extension for Google Chrome. Then you go ahead and just get it. I have it, so you would be right here to get the extension. And all your extensions go up here. So here's my Kami for Google Chrome. So I click on it. Um, it will ask you to sign in. Please sign in as a teacher or a student. I guess it would be a teacher for you. And then uh, you can grade things from there. So I just wanted to show you real quick how to grade. So once kids have turned something into your classroom, so here's my classroom. I'm going to pull up one of the tests that students have taken. Of course, I pick one that hasn't been taken. Give me a second. Actually, let's see, that will be. So the re test one reset. I've graded it already, but that's okay. You can see how it looks. So when I pull him up in Google Classroom, you'll see a little button right here that says Grade with Cami. You have to click on that button, and then it pulls up all of the Cami stuff. So if you see, here's what I've already done. So I'll just show you how I did that. Um, I used the drawing to write with a pen. So if you click Drawing, then I can change my colors. So here's what I wrote with the pen. So I can say, draw me a little smiley face right here with your drawing tool. Then if I don't want that, I can undo it. And that goes away. Here, if you click Mark Up, I find that this box highlighter is better and you can use different colors however you want. I like to color code my thing so I can box highlight that and I can undo that. Comment boxes, this is where you put your sticky notes so you just click where you want the sticky note and you type. Okay, Again, I don't want that to go so I'll go ahead and throw that away as well. Text box, now the text box here I talked about use the text box right here. Just click on it and then you can type in it you can drag it around, make it bigger or smaller, however you want it. Put it in a totally different spot if you don't like where you have it. Now get rid of it, just exit out right there. Um, equations, this might be good for you. I have never looked at any of this, but you might be really good for writing in. Drawing, I showed you that, that's how I made the things. Uh, shapes, so I made a shape, This is, I box things that I don't like rectangle, circle, triangle, or you can just do a line type. Um, there's lots of things I haven't used. Uh, you can comment with voice or a video. I've never tried that. You can try it up. Um, let's see, erase. So once you put something in, let me put something in. Let me draw something. And then you can erase it. Click on it and it goes away. Okay, so that is basically how you grade it. And the students have to have Cami, which all of the prep students do. And then, um, then you can also get rid of that. Then it just looks normal. Then grade it with Cami. Um, you can also, you don't have to, but you can also open things up into Cami. I found that when people did typing, I opened it up into Cami. So let me show you that. Let me go to classwork, sorry. So I'm thinking a lot of people typed here. I don't know, maybe I do have handwriting. Oh, so here we go, so typing. So if I don't want to just use the regular uh, comments, I can open this up in Cami. And then I've got my normal corrections that I can use in order to do this. Now, the one thing I don't know is because I did it just for the first time. I don't know when they open it here if they can see it in Cami. So what I did on the typing is I downloaded a copy of it just in case. That way um, I can make sure they see it or it saves because I, have, you know, it's new and we're still trying to figure it out. Hope that helps. Bye bye.